southbound, you're going to be in trouble. Leslie, Rachel, John. All right, Scott, thank you very much. And here's today, 7 on 7. Today, a Tarzana man is expected in court accused of murder after a woman's torso was found in Encino. All Tustin Unified schools are closed today due to the massive hangar fire that flared up over the weekend. Today, sag after members will be able to read the $1 billion deal with studios. The union's National Board of Directors approved the tentative three-year deal last week. More than 55 million Americans are set to travel for Thanksgiving this year. AAA says that's the third highest Thanksgiving forecast since 2000. SoCal's first six significant storm of the season is expected to hit Wednesday night, bringing cool, t cool temperatures and rain through the end of the week. Gearing up for the Grand Prix, Las Vegas just a few days out from the start of the Formula One races. We'll be there live later this week. And USC and UCLA will renew their crosstown rivalry this weekend. It all goes down Saturday at the Coliseum. Kickoff is at 12.30 p.m. and you can watch right here on ABC7. And that's your 7 on 7. If you're watching us here on Channel 7, Good Morning America is next with Lindsay, Robin, and George. And I is here getting set for Eyewitness News at 7 a.m. You can watch on our website or the ABC7 Los Angeles app. Have a great day. Good morning, America. For our viewers in the West, the latest retaliation for attacks on U.S. forces. The U.S. launches airstrikes on targets in Syria linked to Iran and its proxies. And new details this morning on the helicopter crash that killed five U.S. service members. Hospitals in the crosshairs as Israel officials accuse Hamas of running a complex under the facility. Hamas denies it. The son of a once prominent Hollywood agent arrested on suspicion of murder as police search for his missing wife and in-laws. RSV on the rise. Cases overwhelming some hospitals as emergency rooms brace not only for a surge in young patients, but for a triple-demic. Emergency landing. How a small aircraft collided with a car. The FAA investigation underway. We're kicking off the week after a record Sunday for the NFL. Plus, as Taylor kicks off the international leg of her tour, what swiftly surprised Travis. Christmas tree crunch, why some tree farms are in trouble. And the stars are aligning this morning from West Side Story to Wish. Oscar winner Ariana DeBose is live in Times Square talking about her new highly anticipated magical Disney movie. Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. This is Good Morning America. Ariana DeBose can do it all. She can sing, dance, act. And she's here live later this morning. We are learning what can happen when you wish upon a star. But first, two major headlines involving our troops, including the military helicopter crash that killed five service members. We're going to be given the new American strikes on facilities in Syria that U.S. officials say are used by militants linked to Iran. Chief Global Affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. These Iranian-backed militants do not seem to be getting the message. This is the third time the U.S. has hit targets in retaliation for attacks on U.S. forces. But this strike went further than the first two. The U.S. fighter jets hitting not only a weapons storage facility, just as they did in the last strike in Syria, but this time a safe house. The Pentagon says served as a headquarters for these proxy groups, adding that there were militia members inside when the missiles hit the facility. This is all part of the U.S. response to the dozens of attacks against American forces in Iraq and Syria. And while the injuries have been minor, the Pentagon says, make no mistake, the Iranian-backed forces are trying to kill Americans, George. And Martha, what more do we know about that accident that killed five U.S. service members over the weekend? George, the helicopter went down in the eastern Mediterranean near Cyprus. These five soldiers were with the Army Special Operations Aviation Unit. Their helicopter was attempting to refuel with an aerial tanker midair in the middle of the night.